everyone out there in YouTube world. It's Fart Warrior 5 again here today, bringing you all ooh, another unboxing video of Theros. Doing a fat pack for you all today. Ooh. Gotta get the plastic wrap off. Gonna go through all the contents of said fat pack. We're hopefully gonna go through this a little bit more fast than the booster box opening. This is your collector's guide slash all the cards of the set booklet. We have our poster that I'm not going to unfold, but you can see in there that it is Elspeth, Sun's Champion, vanquishing the Hydra. We'll leave our box over here. And then we have cardboard, the rest of the box, more cardboard, and our packs and things. More cardboard. We have two deck boxes. One with Elspeth, one with Xenagos. These are for a 60 card non-sleeved deck. We have some packs. Five with the spin down dial, which is another black die, but whatever. I'm not complaining. It's another spin down dial. Help you keep track of your life total. A little insert on how to play Magic the Gathering. And then we have another set of four packs with a giant block of basic land cards. Again, not going to go through the basic lands. These are the things that are just simple building blocks of magic. You need mana to cast your spells and things like that. So, alright, nine boosters. Let's see what we can pull. I think for now, I'm just going to go straight to the rares. Not really going to touch on to the commons and such. So our harpy token land. Our first rare is a swan song for one mana. Get to counter enchantment, instant or sorcery, and its controller puts a 2-2 bird onto the battlefield. Okay. And hopefully with this I can speed things up a bit so, again, it's not too long of videos that you know, we can keep these moving. So, we have a Golem token, Forest, a Foil, Silent Artisan, and our rare is, I can never pronounce her name, Anthoza Centesian Hero. Uh, 4-5 for five, 5, and her heroic is whenever you cast a spell that targets her, uh, up to 3 target lands you control become each 2-2 two, two warrior creatures until the end of the turn, and they're still lands. So overall, okay green card. I already have two copies of her, and that makes a third, so not too excited to get her, but whatever. We have a soldier token. A mountain. And our rare is Thoughtseize. Alright. For one black, you get to see the other person's hand, choose a non-land card from it, they discard that card, and you lose two life. Pretty awesome getting another Thoughtseize out of Theros. Let's see what other stuff we can pull out of our last remaining packs. Another soldier token. A uh, upside down land. Okay. And a Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx. It's a legendary land. Tap it for one generic mana, and paying up two and tapping it will allow you to choose a color, and you can add mana of that color equal to your devotion to the color. So, overall, it's pretty nice land. Very good for monocolor decks, being able to add man of your devotion to that color. Being able to ramp up into other stuff. Which is always very nice. We have a bird token. First bird token, which is always exciting. Another upside down land. Which is odd. And an agent of fates. A... What is that? A 3-2 drop for 3. And 
has Death Touch. Heroic, whenever you cast a spell that targets it, each opponent sacrifices a creature. Pretty nice black card. We have four packs left. So again, going through these kind of fast. Don't want to take up too much of your guys' time. I know you want to see the rares and such. No token. Another upside down land. And another Centesan hero. That That's not cool. Getting two of the same meh rares as the... We have only three more packs and hopefully we'll be able to pull some sort of a mythic or something else interesting. Another soldier token. Upside down land. And Ashiok Nightmare Weaver is our mythic. A three loyalty, three drop planeswalker. Uh, for one loyalty point, or excuse me, two loyalty points, exile the top three cards of the opponent's library for negative X. Put a creature card with converted mana cost of X, exiled with Ashiok Nightmare Weaver onto the battlefield under your control. That creature is a nightmare in addition to its other types. And for negative 10, exile all cards from an opponent's hands and graveyards. Pretty awesome card if you're running uh, Black Blue. Works pretty well with uh, the Demir decks, things like that. And for those of you who don't know, Demir is black blue. Another social token. A right side up land. And our rare is another swan song. Getting a lot of the same rares from this fat pack. We have one pack left. So I want to hope hope you all guys enjoyed this unboxing. I'm going to go through the last pack here. Another non-tip card. Or non-token. A Plains, and our rare is an Arcrone Horse. 4 drop 04, Defender, when it enters the battlefield, an opponent gets it. And at the beginning of their upkeep, each opponent puts a 1 1 White Soldier creature token onto the battlefield. So, overall, let's go through our rares and one foil. We had the Arcrone Horse, Swan Song, Ashiok, Nightmare Weaver. The Santezan Hero, Agent of the Fates, Nykthos Shrine to Nyx, Thoughtseize, another Santezan Hero, another Swan Song, and the Foil Silent Artisan. So again, hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I will see you all later.